Good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 6th. For lunch today, we have soft beef tacos with lettuce, tomato, and cheese, and Spanish rice, or chicken Caesar salad, or crispy chicken sandwich, or cheeseburger on a bun. So last week, we had our virtual fire drill, where everyone learned where their spot is outside and shared that with the teachers coming in your room. And the third step in this was to actually go visit that spot next week. Well, guess what? It's next week. Now, we're trying to avoid large groups in the hallways, so I'd like to ask each advisory teacher on each grade level to pick a different day this week to take your students out to their spot. Have fun, and then have some teacher from each grade level email me when you're done. And we've got two birthdays today. Happy birthday to Bryant Olison in the eighth grade and to Braylon Stetz in the fourth grade. Have a great day. Hey everybody, so I'm coming to you again from Petenwell Bluff. Now, I keep coming back here, not just because of the view, not just because it looks really nice, but mostly because of the challenge. I like to go hiking a lot of places, but this is a place I can get a good workout, and when you get near the top of something, it's just a lot more rewarding that way. So what I'd like to talk with you about today is how important it is that school be challenging too. So it's tempting to measure our success in schools by maybe our grades, what percent did I get on my last test? But really, the big thing that school is to help us grow, and you can't grow without a challenge. Now the idea of looking for a challenge is what brings most people to Pete Mall Bluff. I've never come out here without coming across some rock climbers who are trying their skill at scaling this bluff. So on the day we came out, I spent some time talking to this particular group of climbers. <laughs> we are having fun. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out they got up early in the morning and drove for hours just to be able to come out here and try to challenge themselves in new ways. Uh, there you got it. Yes. And then if you would, there you go, thank you. Flick your rope out around. That, yeah, there you go, that horn, thank you. Nicely done, that's the hardest part. Yeah. Now you get the coast. Now the reason it's so important to challenge yourself is because that's the only way to get confidence. Let me explain how that works. If you work at something and you have some success, you recognize that you had that success and you say, hey, I can do that again, and that's where confidence comes from. But to be success, it's gotta be real success. It has to overcome something. And so finding a challenge and continually going over it is the only way to get build confidence. So today's challenge is to find a challenge and use that to get some confidence. Maybe that challenge is working a little bit harder at a math problem that's been tough for you. Maybe it's going ahead and connecting with people and making some friends or reaching out to them if that's something that's not easy for you. Whatever it is, unless you push yourself, you won't get success and that success won't be real. All right, let's get after it today. You take care.